time to run our first containers on our clusters. So first of all, we can't run containers, but what we can run is pods. We can run a pod, uh, and in that pod there will be a single container, and that's how we run uh, a container on a cluster. Um, so what we will do is that we will run a container in a pod, and in that container we will just run a single ping command to begin with. So I'm going to ping an IP address, and then we will see the logs of that pod to see that indeed it's ping the IP address. And then we will scale uh, that pod, so we will create multiple copies. So now we will have multiple pings running in parallel. And uh, the innocent victim of our ping is going is going to be one dot one dot one dot one. So the way I start a container, the, the simplest way to get started is kubectl run. Then I have to give the name. For, for my thing, so I will call that ping pong. Um, I indicate the image I want to run, so image Alpine. Alpine is this tiny Linux distro that got super popular with containers because it's tiny but very extensible. Uh, and then I put the command I want to run, so ping 1111. So I do that. For now, we are going to ignore that warning here. The warning that says, oh, this is deprecated, blah, blah, blah. We just, like, ignore that. All right. So, deployment apps ping pong created. So, it told us, okay, I created your thing. This is kind of a lie. At this point, when we see that message, um, the ping is not running yet. All that happened is that we, we created a spec saying, we want one container like this to be running. And we sent that spec um, to the Kubernetes API server, and the API server wrote down that spec in its CD, and then it told us, that's it, it's done, and we saw deployment created. But at this point, the container is not running yet. At this point, what we have is a deployment, and so the deployment controller wakes up, and it's like, oh, you want ping container to be running. Fine, I'm going to do these other steps, and after a whole bunch of operations, we get uh, our um, ping container to be up and running. So if I do kubectl get pods, I see that I have a pod called ping pong something something something. It's running, it's been running for 75 seconds. Okay. So, why is it called ping pong something something instead of just ping pong? Um, and also, why here uh, do I have a message that says deployment ping pong created? Why not just like pod ping pong created? Mm -hmm. To understand what's going on, I'm going to do kubectl get all. Get all shows me all the resource types. Well, footnote, not exactly all the resource types, just the usual suspects. But among others, it is showing me that I have a pod called ping pong something something. I have a deployment, this one is called ping pong, and I have a replica set called ping pong with another suffix. Okay. So why do I have these three different objects? Why not just like a pod? So, <clears throat> if I create a single pod, and later I decide to scale it up, then the only thing I can do is create more pods like it. So instead, I want to have a resource that sits above the pod, and that says, I want a pod like this, and I want that many copies of it. This is a replica set. A replica set is just like a pod, but with a counter, with a, a number sitting next to it. So now, if instead of creating a stray pod, I create a replica set, then later I can come back and I can change that number, and then the replica, the, the sorry, the controller for replica sets uh, is going to see, oh, um, you wanted to have uh, you want to have five copies of that pod, but we currently only have one, so I'm going to create additional copies. Okay, so this is why we don't have just like a pod 
called ping pong. But now why these three layers? Well, pod, replica set, and then deployment. Deployment is here to let us do rolling updates. So if I come back later and I say, you know what, instead of pinging 1.1.1.1, I want to ping 8888. Or I want to change the image version, which is some, a more realistic example. If I only have the replica set construct, um, so I, I go back to my spec and I say, okay, instead of five copies uh, using Alpine, I want five copies using the Debian image. So now the controller will look at the current state and it's like, okay, so you wanted, uh, now you want five copies using Debian. What I have is five copies using Alpine. So I'm going to trash these five containers and create five new containers, like all, all at the same time. And this is not going to be a nice rolling update. Like this is going to disrupt things. So instead, we have the deployment sitting above and the job of the deployment um, will be to carry on with the rolling update uh, so that when you change the definition of the pod, instead of trashing everything and recreating everything, it's going to create a separate replica set and slowly scale up that replica set while it scales down the other replica set. A little bit like when you crossfade like two, two tracks. Um, so that, that, that's why we have this extra construct.